what happens is um, I look at the texture, I look at the color, I look at the distress, and a story comes to me. Often it'll be a memory from when I was a little kid, a little bit of struggle, an adventure, um, some learning lesson. And then what happens is it kind of, um, it progresses. So as I stare at it and take notes, I'll, I'll document the story. And then what's exciting is a name will come up. I just stare at it and, a, and a, this memory will come up, a story will develop. And then I'll explore it. I'll take, uh, I'll take down points. For me, this is one of the most exciting parts of the painting, is actually finding out the message that it has, the story that it evokes. And uh, it kind of, uh, it's the last process and it gives it um, a soul. It gives it a name. And uh, I love the possibility, like not knowing exactly like 100% how it's going to turn out, but then like making it work. I was swimming in a, a creek uh, and at the bottom was fool's gold. And it was shimmering, the sun was shining down, it was shimmering and I got this this feeling that I just wanted to stare at this forever. Mm. So I'm here, I'm, I have a perfect spot for these paintings. And uh, yeah, we were on a little lake in Trombla, beautiful sunny spring day. All right, we're gonna throw ice. It's an abstract painting, but if it can evoke an emotion, uh, then uh, it connects with other people. So that story will allow people to understand the painting a little bit.